Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're doing a mod review in American Truck Simulator for the International Pro Star Duty Day Cabin. So let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. So first of all we're having a look at the cabins and there's only one cabin to choose from being that it is the Duty Day Cabin. Um, there's only one to choose from, so there we go, just one. Now uh, off to the chassis. There's only one chassis there as well, which is the 6x4 short, 150 gallon. I uh, would have thought that they would have given another option, maybe for a 300 gallon or, or something else, you know. But no, just the 150. Now, the engine, there is a couple to choose from. We have the Cummins ISX 15475, which is the 475 horsepower. Navistar N13, another 475 horsepower. Uh, the ISX-12, the 370 horsepower, and the Packard MX-13-455 horsepower, and the Cummins ISX-15-550. Now, I'm actually going to choose the this one here, the Navistar uh, N13-475, and I'm going to run around the test track with that one today. So let's have a look at the transmission. We have the Eaton Fuller 10-speed, 13-speed, 10-speed with retarder, 18-speed, Allison 4500 6 speed, the 13 speed with retarder, 18 speed with retarder, and the 4500 uh, 6 speed with retarder. So, me being me, I love the 18 speed, so that's what I'm choosing today. Now, the interior, there is only one interior to choose from, and uh, I mean, it's nice, it's nice. The badge there itself is grainy as all shit, but. Um, I mean, it's it's nice, but the only problem is when you spin around here, that is not a day cab. That is somebody taking a shortcut and throwing in an actual badly modeled cabin. But anyway, uh, when you look when you're in game, you're looking forward anyway, and the only time you have to look at that is when you look backwards. So try not to look backwards. Uh, over to the paint jobs. There's a nice selection of paint jobs, which is really good. I love to see a very good selection of paint jobs. Uh, sky blue, snow white, uh, widow black, pure red, sunny yellow, which doesn't look too bad. It's, you know, not bad at all. Custom color allows you to choose any custom color that you so choose, which is really good. Uh, then we have dark red metallic, which looks very nice. A sky blue metallic. Sunset Metallic and which I think looks best of all on this truck the you know Sunset Metallic looks awesome now just to make sure that the metallic colors are working properly you can see that there's one and two there that are working quite well and then we have the number three which is definitely working right there you can see that looks very good indeed very good uh, so for me, I'm going to choose the Sunset Metallic. That looks awesome, I think, on this truck. Uh, then we go over to the accessories. Not a lot to choose from with this model uh, at this time. So since we last had a look at this, it was roughly just, well, I think it was about October last year we had a look at this. Not much has changed. Um, so I would have expected in this time that more would have changed. I have noticed that somebody has modeled in a shifter that is like to the roof. So you'd be up like this, you know, shifting and it'd be so uncomfortable just to shift with that. So, um, but anyway, that's for looks only, I guess. Uh, up the top here, we do have a, it says Mirror's Duty. I mean, you could have changed the naming. That's not hard to do that. But anyway, uh, that looks... That looks quite interesting. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It, it, what's they, it looks like they've done is they've actually grabbed the normal top from the actual, the, the old version of it, the extended cab, and then they've squashed it a bit. But it doesn't look bad. Um, you know, it, it actually looks quite good. But still, it doesn't justify that interior where they have, where it's got the back. You're looking for this back section here, which is not there. Maybe... It's got that technology from the TARDIS or something like that in there. I don't know. Where it's bigger on the inside. You know what I mean? 
Um, so other than that, and the mirrors, you can't really do anything with the mirrors. Uh, there is the the rims. It's just the standard rims that are inside the actual truck itself. Uh, sorry, standard rims that are inside the game. So uh, what I'm going to choose is let's see, seagull chrome, and we'll chuck on some standard nuts here, uh, chrome nuts, and the cap. Sorry, the hub, sorry. We'll just leave standard and the cap there, we'll put on just that one there. And looks very small, doesn't it? Very, very compact. Uh, seagull chrome. Let's go seagull chrome. Chrome your nuts. And then for the hub, we'll leave that and we'll put on a cover, exclusive cover there. And then over here to seagull chrome chrome your nuts and then we'll put on the exclusive chrome there we go uh, not sure why the actual fifth wheel there is white but anyway it is and I'm not sure why the actual mud flaps are dragging in the ground they look like they're you know rubbing on the ground there which I don't think that looks cool but anyway that's what they've done and we just have to stick with it we have to deal with it it's our problem um yeah that's it guys that's everything you can modify on this uh the inside there is only the mirrors which you can't really do anything with so therefore there's nothing you can do on the inside here oh don't look back there just don't look don't look at all um one thing that i, I i'm going to address here with this uh look that's fine if you want to put these in uh, in your trucks that I've got nothing against that you know these religious sort of things but I think that a lot of people would be discouraged to download it because they're forced to use it if you if it was an option if there was a dot there to click on there to use it I think that would be a lot better because people would then have the choice and it's up to them if they want to have it in there not be forced where they have to have it in there but um, that's just I don't know just a general thing that I thought I'd bring up so that's it, guys. Let's confirm that. Um, I got nothing against Jesus being on my dash. It's fine. It's just other people don't like it. Uh, let's go to do a trade-in on that mod. There we go. And then we'll see how long it takes to load. Shouldn't take long. There we go. Not long at all. It's virtually instant. Now, having a look at the back there, that looks nice. I like how they've done the hoses there very neat and oh there's the logo on the side there um, see how they've actually the the window there I noticed with the windows what they've done is rather than modeling it like you normally would by you know adding in the detail around the outside they've decreased the weight in the model by putting in a couple of faces on the actual uh, window rather than putting in mul a multitude of faces see there's like one you can see the actual faces and normally you can't see that in models so one two three four five six seven eight faces are on there uh, normally you can't see that and it's also on the side there as well they've got one two three four I think it is there so yeah you could have I, I don't know I personally think that that looks a bit sloppy but um, anyway, me being picky, guys, it's all it is. All right, let's do the check. As we always do, we'll start up the truck. Standard sounds. Oh, no, sorry, the starter sounds the same. There we go. That's not standard. That's definitely custom. All right, check the lights. There's the lights. Uh, high beams. There's high beams. Flashes. Whoops, my flash of foot switch is stuck. There we go. And that is all the way around. Yes, yes. Very good. Uh, let's see. Wipers. Yeah, they haven't fixed the wipers. Okay. Now, uh, what else have we got here? That's pretty much it for the outside. Let's go on the inside and check that out. Wipers. Did the wipers work? Yeah, there we go. On or off, that's all you got. Display, cross your fingers. 
All right, it's not cr crashing when you push display, which is good. I am, however, going to be pulling the put that on, uh, pulling the seat back here because it is way too close. Even still, after we've gone and stretched that out, there we go. That's the view done, and that's heaps better. Just yeah, just don't look back. That's all I can say. Uh, what else have we got in here? We'll test those lights again. Yeah, they were fine. You can see how it's changing on the inside there. The horn. Yep, and the air horn. No. No air horn. Okay. Uh, let's back her up and go and check out those other engines. It's... I don't know. It sometimes sounds like there's custom sounds in there and then it sounds like there's standard sounds in there. It's very quiet too. There we go. Just checking the audio level. Alright, so let's check out these other sounds. I, I don't know, I'm a bit sort of confused if it is actually, I think it might be the standard sounds on there, but you be the judge. Okay, so let's jump on the outside. Same sounds, same sounds. Same sounds are used for the Cummins and the Navistar. Let's go to the Packer. Exactly the same sounds for all. So, uh, really there's no sort of benefit from having any other sound. Nothing sounds better than the other, so there you go. Um, Right, so let's jump in and let's take this around the the track, shall we? Alright, so we have the Navistar. And let's... Actually, what I'm going to try is... Let's try that handbrake. Works there on the dash. Okay. I just wanted to see if that would work on the dash. See, it does work, the animation. Just low textures. That's all. Right. I like that Richard Petty Motorsports sign. Oh, different indicator sound. Okay, so here we go up to the starting line 2L we need to start in there we go So on the count of three three two one go And away we go we're ripping through the gears, so it's definitely Not having any problem there up to Bonza and we are in 7L already. Brakes are very, very touchy. There's Bulldust. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. There's the banana brake. The brakes on this are full on. Okay, through to the titty twister. And let's see how we're going to go. Yeah, no problem. This might be a little bit quick for uh, for this track, I think. Oh, see, we're getting going really quick through the sand trap up to Dunny Climb. 
Oh, made it over there. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. got a little bit of air on the back there as we come down. Going up to the cereal bowl and we need to have go as fast as we possibly can through here. Into eight high. Whoa, oh, 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 few problems through there. Didn't get any damage, but uh, did have a few issues. Right, coming up to two up. Just slowing it down a bit there. I did go through there a little bit quick, but still, it was all right. If anything's going to chew out the truck, it's two up. We've seen that in the past. Right, so... Uh, coming around these little S bends here. And as we're coming through, uh, going through to the sheep dip. And for some reason, it feels like the back end of the actual truck is slipping out whenever we're going around a corner sometimes. All right, whoops, what did I do there? I just blew the engine. I uh, just dropped the gear and blew the engine, so that's nice. Uh, coming around Stig's Nightmare, as we like to call this section. It is an absolute nightmare to drive around here. Really quick, anyway. Oi. It's definitely uh, picks up speed really quick. So I think this is going to be a quick time through here. And stop. There we go. Wow, that was motoring through there. So again, guys, the time will be displayed just, uh, just below me here. So check that out. Have a look at it. I can't actually see it right this second, but you'll be able to. I'll edit it in later. Well, guys, that is the International Pro Star. Um, overall, I actually think it's it's okay. It's got a lot of potential there. Um, I think if a few things are actually fixed up in it, um, you know, it would actually be quite a good truck. But it just needs a little bit a bit more work yet. Uh, some custom sounds would be nice. Um, that windscreen and that interior are probably the major things that need to be fixed up on it so but other than that it's not bad not bad got potential anyway guys what do you think about it do you think this is worthy of the weekly drive and if you do in the comments below say yes i would like to see this in the weekly drive if you don't want to see this in the weekly drive then say no i would not like to see this in the weekly drive um so make sure you also add in there a a vote out of 10 what do you think it's worth about a five or six or is it worth a ten i don't know you tell me guys in the comments below uh if this is the first time you've seen junior senior gaming then make sure you head on over to the junior senior gaming youtube channel and check us out we've got over 1500 videos there guys for you to watch so make sure you check it out but that's it for me today guys look keep this shiny side up and the greasy side down and i'm 10 10 on the side and remember game on Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to watch some more trucking good videos, then click on the links beside. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd also like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching, YouTubers, and remember, game on.